Good evening, everyone. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. Uh, a little while back, I released a video showing you how to set up FL Digi with SDR Uno, and that video was lacklustering. It was, uh, I was speaking a little bit too fast, and a couple people pointed out that they couldn't see my, what was going on on my screen. My resolution was set rather high. So this is going to be a brand new video. Hopefully I can redeem myself and this will help you setting up SDR Uno and FL Digi. It is a three part process. Let me just bring these windows over so you can see what I'm doing. The three parts are setting up SDR Uno, which is going to be, well, it's going to be setting up SDR Uno and FL Digi as one part. And it's also going to be some software that you need to download, install and configure. You're going to need a virtual audio cable software package. There's two that I'm aware of. There might be others. Uh, there's VAC, Virtual Audio Cable, or there's VB Cable. Uh, VAC, which you see on the screen here, is paid for use. VB Cable is donation slash freeware. I'll leave links in the description for the different packages that you you can choose to install. The second and last part is, I'm sorry, the second and last part, the third and last part is downloading and installing a virtual serial port emulator. There's two options that I'm aware of with this. There's VSPE, which is paid for use, and there's COM0COM, which is free to use. I'm using VSPE. So let's start with setting up the virtual serial port first. We're going to need to create a pair. So let's go ahead and click pair. And we're going to make them two consecutive numbers, COM1, COM2, and we do want to emulate the board rate. And we'll click finish click that and click play. So that, that's ready. We can minimize the COM port emulator. Second part, virtual audio cable. You only need one pair, uh, which is going to be an input and an output. And what that's going to allow us to do is digitally send and receive audio information uh, from one application to another. So the COM port is set up, the virtual COM port is set, now the virtual audio cable is set. Third part, let's get this out of the way, is FL Digi. Let's go ahead and launch FL Digi. I just installed the latest version. And let's click Next, uh, Station Call Sign, KD2, KOG. I'll leave a link in the description for the latest FL Digi also. KD2, KOG, we'll put that there. Operator name, Mike. Uh, let's see what else they want to know. I guess that's good enough for now. Port Audio, we want to select that and we want to capture from the virtual audio cable. So let me select VAC, make sure that this is the correct one. Uh, let's go ahead and try this, but it might be the MME devices, but let's just try this one first and we'll see if we see anything within FL's Digi's uh, spectrum. We can go ahead and click next. All right, FL, let's see what's going on here. Uh, nope, we can click Next. Use Rig Cat. This is important. STR Uno emulates a Kenwood TS480. So what we're going to do is tell FL Digi that we're connected to a TS480 via the virtual serial port pair that we just created. So let's go ahead and rig description. Let me see if I can find. This might be the wrong area. Uh, if it is, my apology, but we will verify this in a second. Uh, no, we don't want to use Red Cat. Let's go ahead and click Next. We want to use Hamlib, and we want to check that off and scroll down and find Kenwood TS480. And here it is, Kenwood TS480. It's going to ask you for a COM port, uh, COM port device. Now, remember, we created a pair, COM1 and COM2. We're going to assign SDR Uno COM1 and we're going to assign this emulated rig as COM2. So let's go ahead and select 2. Everything else here looks okay. 15200. I'm going to say put that to 57600 because we need to set this in SDR Uno also. They, they need to, the settings need to be mirrored. Let's go ahead and click uh, next and finish. Okay, so we have FL Digi. That's running. Now we need to set SDR Uno. So let's go ahead and do that. OK, 
Okay, two settings we're going to need to set. Let's just get this proper on the screen. Two settings we need to set in SDR Uno. The output for the virtual audio cables, this way we can actually decode some signals, and the COM port, this way we have bi-directional uh, frequency controls. This way when I change the frequency here, it's going to show in FL Digi's frequency readout here, and vice versa. So if I change it here, it changes here. If I change it here, it changes it here. That's bi-directional communication. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Let's go to the RX control panel. Let's click on settings. Let's go to output. We want to set our output as the virtual audio cable. That part is done. Let's close that out. Click settings again. Go to the cat tab. Let's go to COM1. Enable and connect. It's connected. And I believe we're off to the races. We should be good. So let's go ahead and take a look at the spectrum here. Uh, that The audio settings that I said earlier might be wrong. So let's go to configure. Just bear with me. I need to find that settings. Config dialog. Sound card. Devices. Let's uncheck this. All right, it won't let us. Let's go to the MME devices and go to virtual audio cable. Save, close, and let's see. Uh, let's go to quiet area of the band and let's see if the spectrum settles down. Okay, that looks like we can verify that we have audio passing from SDR Uno to FL Digi. Now let's see if we can get the rig control. Let's verify that again. Let's go to configure the uh, dialog. Let's go to rig control. Let's go to ham lib. I believe we might have to click initialize. Yep, that's one step we missed was initialized and the frequencies match. So let's click save, close. And let's see if I change the frequency here. Yes, it does. It changes the frequency in SDR Uno. And if I change the frequency in SDR Uno, let's verify that it changes the frequency in FL Digi. And that it does. Now let's verify that we can decode something. So I will go to, let's try to decode a CW transmission. I'm not an avid FL Digi user, so let's go to Operation Mode, CW. Let's go to 80 meters. Oh, I'm sorry, let's go to 40. Let's look for some CW signals. Okay, we have a few over here. Let's select the mode for CW. And let's just slide this over. There's one right over here. And hopefully he'll pop back up. Okay, there we go. And let's check with FL Digi. Let me slide this over. I could see the signal in FL Digi's spectrum plot. And let's see if we get a decent decode. Let me clear this. Uh, KG2, KJ, DEFLDE. Yeah, we're decoding fine. So that's the gist of setting up STR Uno with FL Digi. Uh, I hope this video was clearer uh, for you guys to see. I hope I didn't speak too fast and I hope I didn't lose you guys along the whole setup process. If you have any questions or comments, uh, good or bad, please leave them in the comments section. If you leave a thumbs down, I'm completely okay with that. Uh, please let me know why you left the thumbs down. It's this way I can try to make the videos a little bit better. I make these videos for you guys. So the thumbs down, they, they don't bother me. They actually push me to try to make these videos better. I hope this uh, video helped you. And like I said, just leave any questions or comments in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. 73, and thank you for watching.